Sterling City and Water Valley are two former six-man powerhouses that have transitioned to 11-man this year. Our goal at the start of the season, first thing was to try to make the playoffs, and, and if we can win this game, we can do that and get ready to go into the playoffs uh, with a couple of games left, so we don't have to worry about that and just playing football. The Sterling City Eagles are 4-3 and three on the season, coming off a bye week and a forfeit win against Midland TLCA. The Eagles are more than ready to get back on the field come this Friday. I'm really excited to play them this week. It's it's the first team that we've played all year that I have prior experience playing, so there's a little more on the line, I guess. At the end of the day, it's another district game. Try to go out, get the win, and uh, keep rolling, keep going one at a time. The Water Valley Wildcats have fought through adversity throughout this entire season, but it has only made this team stronger as a whole. We're, we know we're not at our best right now, and we're just now coming back. So it, it's bonded us in a lot of times, a lot of you know, situations that give us a lot of chances to play different kids. Um, but it's big, you know, the injuries and the adversities, you know, what they say, don't keep makes you stronger. So that's kind of what we're hoping is going to happen. The Wildcats will be looking to get their first district win of the season and hope to only build up from here with the support of the community. Well, that have stayed with us throughout the whole season. It just, just shows that we care for one another and each other's backs. Both of these teams are former district rivals and look forward to a new week with this competition. To, to get that, that win under our belt, uh, especially against somebody like Darling, would be, I mean, that'd be, that'd be a big, big plus for us right now. You know, it's kind of a rivalry when we play each other, and, and it's been a few years since we've got to play them, so uh, we're looking forward to it.